Hey there, it's Ross Nickerson at BanjoTeacher.com. Today I'm going to do a demo video on the Recording King RKR75. And uh, I think you're going to like it. I'm going to play a song for you. And then I'll give you a little bit more description about the banjo after I play the song. The R75, uh, it's a full-fledged professional banjo. It's got a flathead tone ring, one-piece flange, everything that uh, the Gibson Master Tone um, of the uh, 20s and 30s had, and the tone is fantastic. It's got a, the neck is, uh, is built for a bit sort of a deeper tone. Uh, you may notice that on the video. Um, the look of it is, uh, is more professional. It's got the Flying Eagle inlay on the 75. The 76, the only difference is um, it has the hearts and flowers. Now the hearts and flowers is what uh, is the inlay pattern that Earl Scruggs had on his banjo. This one, the Flying Eagle, is actually a little more popular nowadays. And But uh, J.D. Crow has uh, always had the Flying Eagle, uh, great banjo player that you've um, probably heard of. And then also um, John Reno used a like, Gibson banjo with a Flying Eagle, so it kind of went back and forth. So a lot of your favorite players usually either play the Hearts and Flower or the the um, Flying Eagle. So that's just sort of a, a bit of an aesthetic or a choice of what you like the looks of better. But as far as the banjo is concerned, it's the same banjo, the 75 and the 76. If you like the R75, uh, give me a call. Um, I know here I am on the video, maybe it doesn't seem like it's that easy to call, but my phone number is all over the website. I answer the phone, especially for anything to do with banjo sales. No one else here really knows enough, and uh, I enjoy just talking about the stuff. I gave lessons for many years, and I don't uh, have time now to give lessons, so I enjoy talking to customers and uh, talking about banjos and things like that. So please give me a call if you have any questions. And if you decide to get the R75, I hope you'll choose to get it from us. We set them up. We can put spikes on them. We can do the zero glide. We can uh, we check them. We make sure that uh, anything that's going out of here the quality control is perfect and I'm um, really easy to deal with. I've been doing this for a long time, so give me a call.